Wanna check the comm spheres? It's you. You've probably heard, but I've been called back to Youth League headquarters. It is a shame, though, having to leave Besaid in the hands of slackers. Besaid will be fine. Walk us there to keep an eye on things. <laughs> Small consolation. If you ask me, his brother was ten times the man Waka is. You knew Chapu? We fought in the Crusaders together. He always talked about Waka. Said, my brother's the greatest person in Spira. Imagine my surprise to find out the legendary Waka is nothing more than a wishy-washy wimp. There were so many things I'd wanted to talk to Waka about, but not anymore. Things? What kind of things? Memories. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I need to get ready to leave. Without you, the house seems so empty. I can't bear it. I wake up each morning, but without seeing your face, it's as though the day hasn't really begun. So please, please, come home, Bartello. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you going to fight New Yevon? No, this is just a precaution. The League has no intention of starting a war. But I do not know how long that can last. Tension among the troops is running high. It won't be long before their anger becomes uncontrollable. When the time comes, I fear I will not be able to staunch the cries for blood. I have failed. Try and keep things under control a little longer. I'll do what I can to calm the situation down. An inspiration as always. Very well. For my part, I will keep the troops in order, as Nuge would, were he here. Do not let our troubles distract you from your performance. I will be quietly cheering you on. Yeah. Oh, I heard you the first time. Is something wrong? Lady Yuna, you won't believe this. I was planning on riding out my chocobo to see your concert, but this guy still won't let my chocobo on the shoe puff. Can you believe it? Impossible, impossible. Well, you could ride our airship. No, don't worry about me. I will swim my way to the concert if I have to. Like I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. That's what I say. Well, Lady Yuna, bye. I'll see you at the concert. is having a concert, huh? Yeah, you can come if you like. Sounds nice. Everybody singing with everybody else just like two years ago. Back then, we was working for those Yevon creeps. Me and Logos was forced to do all their dirty work. <sighs> those were bad times. But then, when you went to fight Sin, and we all sang the Hymn of the Faith, we could tell a new age was about to begin. It was magical. Bring some of that magic back to Spira again. I know you can do it. I won't let you down.
I heard the news and did a jig. I hope your concert will be big. Hey, belt out a couple of newts for me and the lads, eh? The faith has gone, and we also must go to our end with the woods. Now we have but to wait, wait for our time. Don't say things like that. out a group to stop that fiend, but they weren't very successful. If there's anything you can do, we'd be grateful. That can't be good. Concert, and you didn't say so much as a word to me. I swear on the old Walker name, I'd have been selling tickets hand over fist for you. We're not charging for the tickets. We just want as many people to come as possible. So you're saying people can see this concert even without a ticket? I'd figured it was already sold out, so I gave up on going. No, you should come see it too. I believe I'll do just that. Got any room for a concession stand? Maybe I could make me some guilt. Well, I'd best be on my way.
Guado Meester once steal life of many brave Ronzo. Hatred of Guado unite angry Ronzo youth. Time pass, Ronzo not avenge fallen comrades. Horns of hatred grow too sharp, Ronzo are tired. Angry Ronzo quarrel with Ronzo who tire of anger. Hate once unite Ronzo, now pull Ronzo apart. What will unite lost Ronzo youth? Yuna. Hello. The Hypello told me the news. You're having a concert? Using the power of song to unite Spira, is that it? I know you can do it. Or rather, you're the only one of us who could do that. Good luck, Yuna.
starting. It's almost time. Do you think people will show up? You betcha! The Thunder Plains will be packed. But what are you gonna sing? Um... <laughs> wow, did you write that? It's more like I felt it. I can hear it echoing inside me. Len? I think so. I don't know much about her, but I'm learning more and more. Bits and pieces of her memories keep pouring in. It's like... It's like I can feel what she was feeling. Thus shall Len's scattered thoughts be woven into bittersweet song. Something like that? Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up the spectators. So we won't be able to board for a while. You got it. Wanna check the comm spheres? Wanna check the... Shame on you, Yuna. What did I do? What's this about a concert? Doing something fun like that, even though you know I can't leave Besaid. Not very thoughtful. <laughs> Sorry. I got tired of just standing around. You couldn't resist helping out. You haven't changed at all, have you? Even though you so wanted to. You could tell? How many years have I known you? You don't need to rush. 
You know, the most important changes happen naturally, and usually turn out better than if you tried to force them. So that's how it works? In my experience, at least. Hey, Lou! You sure it's alright to be walking around so much? You got twice as much reason to be careful, yeah? Yes, sir. Take Waka. He probably doesn't even notice it's happening. Huh? Yuna, what's this about? Just girl talk. That right. Cause I'm thinking it's a boy. The way it's always kicking that loose stomach. On second thought, maybe he hasn't changed after all. Over the Thunder Plains. You ready to land? Hello, Galwitch. Good to see you. Are you ready to sing your song? Yeah, more or less. You ready? We've got a sticky situation. Some fiends have shown up to snack on the spectator tours. Concert hurt fest time. Let's do it. This is your lucky day.
easy. Utile. Bye. <laughs> 
This is your lucky day. Sky. Youth League. They're all outside in the concert grounds. I hope our audience behaves long enough to listen. One thing worries me. The two groups are already locking horns. With their leaders gone and everything, people are just a little bit edgy. Hey, uh, the crowd is acting kind of funny. Let me pull the video up. Uh-oh. This could get messy. No kidding. The two groups have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah. Looks like they're itching to start something. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Hey, you Youth League dogs will never be worthy of hearing the High Summoner sing. If the Praetor were here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. What I want to know is, where'd Nuge go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart. What kind of leader abandons his people when they need him most? Ever stop? Seriously? Well, Yuna, you're the one who wanted to do something. Yeah, but. Right. <laughs> so let's do something. Right! Let's do it! Oh, catastrophic catastrophe! Dear me, dear me! What or whatever should I do? The spectators are making a spectacle! I don't even want to speculate! Please, do something, Yuna! Leave it to us! Yuna, we're counting on you!
One thousand years ago, before the time of sin, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, Sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe, Believe with me. me. Even if, if we, we are torn, torn apart, our, our feelings will unite us. That is what this song is about. You know. I'm all right. I'm fine, really. It's past now. What did Shinra say? Um, he said it might be some kind of uh, interference with the sphere waves. Yuni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other, and, uh, the consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. When I asked, he said, I'm only a kid. Ugh. It's Len. I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? Everyone's waiting. Let's go. was a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Xanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Xanagant was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. 
He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... Oh. It didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shuyin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been, um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone. Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. What do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room. around since we last met, and I happened to find a rather peculiar sphere. It shows my new Jiwuji. For some reason, that chump barrel eye is there, too. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gipple. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnagun. Oh, oh, oh! So Barilai is the one pulling Vegnagun's strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> Anything but that, boss! We are no match for that sort of opponent. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well then, get this tanker moving!
What have we here? Looks like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the comm sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside! See? It connected. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Anybody home? Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Some genius. Nudie! If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she... What? What? Myself. What about the Gullwings? I think that we should help out Nuge. But first, I want to try talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. Gold wings, we move out. Celsius, move speed ahead. Shall we go check things out? I don't know if we have time. Well, let's play it by ear. Way to take control. Go wings! Round up! It's strategy time! Vegnagon is in the deepest reaches of the far plane. 
The only way in is to jump into one of those holes. Yeah, but which one? There's one in Bisset, one in Kilika, and one in Jose Temple. Don't forget the calm lands, the cave at the bottom of the gorge. And the hole that Vagnagun opened up in the Bavel underground. So, which one do we jump into? Who cares? We just pick a hole and dive! Yuna! You can decide which hole we pick. <laughs>